Diesel engines are strong, but they can sometimes break down. Modern diesel engines, especially, come with special emissions equipment required by the government. This equipment can reduce the engine's power when there is a problem. This process is called derate, and it's important for every diesel owner to understand how it works. If ignored, derate can cause drivers to get stuck. Here's why engine derate happens and, more importantly, how to fix it. What is engine derate? Engine derate is a safety feature built into the software of most modern diesel engines to protect them. It became common in the early 2000s when stricter emission rules were introduced. Derate works like the limp mode feature in gasoline-powered vehicles, limiting the engine's performance to prevent further damage. When an engine goes into derate, it reduces power but still gives enough for the driver to leave the road safely and get help. The level of power reduction varies by engine brand. For example, engines like Cummins and Packer have different stages of derate. The first stage lowers power moderately, allowing drivers to reach a repair shop safely. However, if the problem isn't fixed, the engine can enter a severe state where the speed is limited to 5 miles per hour, common in trucks like Peterbilt, Kenworth and Volvo. Even some pickups experience this. If derate is ignored, the engine may shut down completely, requiring the vehicle to be towed for repairs. Some manufacturers may even void parts of the warranty if the truck reaches this stage of derate. What causes engine derating? Engine derate often happens because of problems with a truck's emission system. Common issues include poor diesel exhaust fluid quality and faults in the diesel particulate filter or selective catalytic reduction catalyst. These problems can stop the truck from completing its regeneration cycle, which is the process that turns soot and other particles in the diesel particulate filter into ash using heat and special chemicals. Diesel exhaust fluid is also added to the selective catalytic reduction catalyst to reduce harmful emissions like nitrous oxide. Modern diesel engines have sensors to monitor how well these systems are working. These include back pressure sensors, pressure differential sensors, and temperature sensors. If any sensor detects something abnormal, the engine may enter derate mode. Derate can also activate to protect the engine in other situations. For example, many trucks will reduce power if coolant or oil levels are too low, or if the engine is overheating. The exact point at which this happens depends on the truck's manufacturer. How to clear an engine derate? Fixing engine derate is not something the average driver or home mechanic can easily handle. Most manufacturers require a special scan tool, specific to their brand, to reset derate conditions. These tools are not the same as regular OBD2 scanners, making it necessary for drivers to visit an authorized service center with access to this software. Before an engine's full power can be restored, the problem causing the derate must be resolved. Technicians often perform a forced regeneration, which cleans the exhaust system and resets the derate status. However, if the root cause of the issue, like excess soot buildup, is not identified and fixed, the engine may enter derate mode again soon. In some cases, forced regeneration can be a temporary fix to delay severe derate, but this often requires a scan tool. Some trucks have a switch for forced regeneration that lets drivers start this process manually. This should only be done while parked in a safe spot, away from other vehicles. It's important to address the issue behind engine derate as soon as possible to avoid more severe derate levels and prevent potential engine damage. If you're not confident or lack the right tools, it's best to schedule an appointment with a qualified service center promptly.